Party people! No, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about Turtwig, Piplup, and Gymshark. Look at these cuties. If you're playing Pokemon Legends of Arceus, don't worry. They're super easy to get, and they show up in the first three regions in the game, so you can get them early and play the whole game with your favorite starters from Diamond and Pearl. So, if you talk to Para in Jubilife Village, she'll ask you to go on a mission in the very first region we unlock. That mission is a guaranteed encounter to catch Chimchar. And request number 62, which you can unlock by talking to the photographer. Uh, he might have one or two missions that he needs you to do before uh, you get to this one. But this mission is to go catch him a Turtwig. So that's two of the three starters right there. There is no mission to go catch a Piplup, but the good news is, like I mentioned earlier, we can catch all three in the wild in the very first three regions that we unlock. So let's go see if we can catch all three in under 10 minutes. Remember to subscribe for all that legendary action and turn this YouTube channel into your one-stop shop for everything you need in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So we are in the Obsidian Field Lands. Looking at the map, there are two different locations that Chimchar uh, spawns. One is Deer Track Heights, right in the center of the main island. Now, I've never actually seen a Chimchar in Deer Track Heights. Um, so we're going to be going to the other location, Ramanas Island, um, in the southwest corner where there's guaranteed Chimchars. However, to go to this one, you will need to be able to surf with Basque Legion. You do not need to have unlocked surfing with Basque Legion to be able to catch Chimchar. If you can find one in Deer Track Heights, you're good to go. Um, or you can do mission number 20, like I mentioned earlier, which guarantees you a Chimchar spawn. So we're speeding up through this little area as we on go on our way to Ramanas Island to catch ourselves a Chimchar. And now we're here, but we got to be super careful because one, all three of these Pokemon are extremely skittish and will run away if they see you. So you have to be super careful. As you can see with this Chimchar, he already kind of noticed me, so I had to stop and bend down so that he wouldn't run away. And there's an Alpha Infernate that's super high leveled right nearby, so make sure that it doesn't spot you either. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw a little raspberry real quick uh, just to get him busy and munching and chomping on that raspberry. It makes him easier to catch. And we're going to sneak up on him and throw the Pokeball. And we are going to catch ourselves a Chimchar. Let's go. Look how cute my boy is. Next one up, Turtwig. Turtwig can be found in the Crimson Mirelands, the second location that is unlocked in the game. Um, in a near a pool of water past Droning Meadow. Now we're gonna go straight there. Um, in this case, I'm going to use Basque Legion to surf across the river, but you do not need to do that. You can travel around the lake um, and walk there just on your own two feet or using Weird Deer to get there. So here we are, we're coming up to the little pool here. Now again, be careful because these starters, they will run away and disappear and they only spawn once every time that you go to this location. So if you scare Turtwig away here, you're gonna have to leave and come back. So we see him, he's just chilling, he's walking around doing his little Turtwig thing and we are going to sneak up on him. We're gonna toss a raspberry at it to see if we can distract him and make him a little easier to catch. And he's noticing it, but he's not actually eating it. But no matter, we'll, ch we'll just chuck a Pokeball at it either way. We scared the little Paris there, but we were successfully able to catch our guy, Turtwig. And look at his boy. That's a cute boy right there. So now to catch Piplup, we're going to head to the Cobalt Coastlands, the third area that we unlock in the game. Now let's look at the map real quick. Piplup is able to be found on Isle Spy Shore, right near the little pool of water on that map. So we're gonna mark it with a flag and we're gonna head right over there. Getting to Isle Spy Shore is not the easiest thing without Basque Legion. Now, fortunately, the third area is where we unlock Basque Legion. 
and are able to start surfing. So as you can see from this location, we are right near Isle Spy Shore, but we're gonna need to hop down into the water. So if you don't have Basque Legion, that's not gonna work for you. So I'm gonna go the other way around. The other way around is a little bit more iffy and a, and a lot more dangerous, um, but it can be done without surfing, but you'll have to be extremely careful of fall damage. So we're gonna try to climb these little mountains here with Weird Ear and go around the spring path to get to our little pond with Piplop. So right here, as you can see, we can see Isle Spy Shore. Uh, we just need to be able to get down and this is the hardest part, is being able to get down without hurting ourselves. And there's no real clear, easy way to kind of get down uh, without hurting yourself. And as you can see, we did hurt ourselves a little bit. Um, so you have to be super careful about not killing yourself from the fall damage. But now we're here, we can see the little pool. We're gonna hop off Weird Ear, make sure we don't get seen by other Pokemon so we don't have to fight them. And there he is, there's our cute little guy, Piplup, chilling out. The penguin does what the penguin does right near the pond. So we're gonna chuck a little raspberry at it as we usually do, just to try to make catching it a little easier. Um, and now we're gonna throw a little smoke bomb so he doesn't see us running up to him, otherwise he's just gonna run away. And now we can chuck a Pokeball at it and we are going to be able to catch Piplup no problemo. Now, obviously I sped up a bunch of that, but it took me under 10 minutes to catch all three, including running around time to get to the right location, including loading screen time while I travel between the locations, under 10 minutes. So as you can see, super easy to catch all three of these cute and amazing starter Pokemon. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, remember to subscribe to get all of your Pokemon Legends Arceus content right here. And I have been Crown Duskull of the Thick Players Club. Peace. Mm -hmm.